money. Once again, you are welcome to our devotional series, Encountering the God Who Sees. Today, our title is Believing in God's Promises. And we are reading from 1 Kings chapter 17, verse 15. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, one more time, as your children, we are in your presence. May your Holy Spirit guide us, lead us, and help us to understand your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I am reading from the New King James Version. The Bible says, So she went away and did according to the word of Elijah. And she and he and her household ate for many days. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. The questions are, should she take her bread and water and give to someone she did not even know where he had come from? Moreover, if this prophet could multiply food as he professed to be able to do, why should he ask her for bread? These and many more should have been her arguments and her questions, but her faith was equal to the test. She recognized the God of Elijah. The risk that God is calling you to take is worth it, and it is well calculated. It was a great trial for her faith and obedience, having told the prophet how low her stock was. She just had enough for herself and her son. Yet Elijah requested her to make a cake for him first, and then prepare for herself and her son. You and me should have said, I cannot be expected to give having but a little and not knowing when I will get some more and where it will come from. Friends, those that can trust the promises of God will have no difficulty emptying themselves in his service by giving him his dues first out of the little they have. By God's command, the first fruits were his and the tithe was taken out first. This command with the promise is still valid in our time. We read in Malachi chapter 3 verse 10, Bring all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. And try me now in this, if I will not open for you the windows of heaven, and pour out for you such blessing that there will not be room enough to receive it. Dear friends, by faithfully retaining God's tithe, you are claiming this promise. By saving God first, you are saying, I deny self and take God by his word. By saving God first, it is the self-denial that is of your lifetime. Relying on him gives us, even in this life, a fullness of joy and blessings that comes by believing in his promises. The single parent had no time to contemplate on her decision. She had no time to start debating. But the question to you and me is, how do we react when it comes to retaining that which belongs to God? Not only was she at the end of her resources, she had also no way to replenish her stock. We must be willing, dear friends, to trust the God who sees and step out, taking his hand by faith. This single parent actually did it. She willingly gave based on her trust in the promise of God. She was rewarded for her obedience. The Bible says, and she and he and her household ate for many days. She ate because she believed the promise of God when thousands around her who believed in Baal were starving. God fulfilled the promise to this single parent her son, and Elijah. He will do it for you and me. Remember, the Bible in Romans chapter 1 verse 17 says, the just shall live by faith. Dear friends, God's faithfulness to his promises and our belief in his promises go together. Let us pray. Our kind and loving Father in heaven, thank you for the many promises that you fulfill in our lives every day. Help us to believe 
and help us to be faithful. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Be blessed as we continue living by faith while encountering the God who sees. Amen.